The price of gas was almost 30 cents a gallon cheaper the last time Chris looked. I remember seeing it 326 or around there and I was hoping I could find that again and no luck. And financial experts say it could get worse before it gets better, like it always does when there's tension in the Middle East. If this continues and, ex and accelerates, then you would see gas prices go higher, most likely. Bob Smith of Spiro yeah. Smith Investment yeah. Advisor yeah. says the Israeli offensive in Gaza, along with the downing of that Malaysian plane in Ukraine, provided an economic shock that also affected the stock market as concerns rose about the impact on the future earnings of companies. To you and I, in terms of everyday lives, it, it means likely that gas prices will go up a little bit until we see where this goes and directionally. It means the stock market, as we saw yesterday, will go down some. Yesterday was about 1% because of the uncertainty that resulted from that. But the market is already recovering, and Smith says you shouldn't let this affect your 401k investment decisions. Your gas buying decisions, however, may be another question. I know I need to get from point A to point B, though, so I just fill it up and Pay what they tell me to pay. What you're not paying more for today is produce. Here at Dave's Market, produce manager Jeff Latina says the prices fluctuate day to day depending on the crops. Actually, they're pretty good right now. Uh, I haven't noticed any major increases in anything. But here's the bad news. There's a drought underway in California, so don't be surprised if one day really soon the lettuce that you buy here in Cleveland is affected by that too. Live on 5 in Cleveland, I'm Deborah Lee.